You know, I've done several videos on Lil Wayne and his bullshit. And here it is again. <laughs> you know, he's at it again. Um, you know, if you guys watch First Take or um, you guys watch um, what's the show, Skip and Shannon, he was on their show about a week or two ago and he was making comments about how, you know, he, he's never experienced racism, which anybody who is black, you understand, and understand, excuse me, what structural racism is. Racism is not just, you know, someone coming in your face and calling you a nigga. We all, if you're a black American, we, we all experience racism, whether we like it or not. We just experience it in different forms. But he came out and he said that, you know, he never experienced racism. And, um, you know, he tried to back up his story by saying that a white officer saved him when he shot his stupid ass in, in the chest when he was a kid. Like, that backs up him not experiencing any racism but here he is again you know <laughs> coming out saying that he doesn't know what uh black lives matter means and you know i read this quote from it first of all this guy the way he articulates himself is just <laughs> it's bananas but he says i'm a young black rich motherfucker <laughs> If that don't let you know that America understands black motherfuckers matter these days, I don't know what is. That man white, he filming me. I'm a nigga. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, man. Don't come at me with that dumb shit, man. My life matter, especially to my bitches. <laughs> now, <laughs> you know, and I'm laughing because, you know, it's so ignorant and... You know, it just goes to show you how lost some of our people are. And, you know, obviously Lil Wayne got a lot of backlash from uh, his comments and just a lot of the things he's been saying recently. And he tried to uh, uh, apologize and, you know, give some type of explanation saying that when the reporter asked him about his daughter being called a bitch in a hole, you know, he basically got um, aggravated by that and didn't really put any thought into any of his comments, but I can't believe that from little Wayne because he says dumb shit all the time. You know, he, he's a sample. There's no other way to put it. This is the same guy that's came out and disrespected the life and memory of Emmett Till. So we can't give him, you know, why birth or an excuse for his actions because he's a repeat offender. He does this all the time. And, you know, I'm not one for, uh, you know, censoring what people say or say that, oh, well, you shouldn't you shouldn't call women bitches and hoes and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Because the fact of the matter is, is that we have something to call freedom of speech. So whether I agree with the content, whether I agree with, uh, you know, what that person is saying, they have the right to speak how they want to speak. But at the same time. Lil Wayne knows that, you know, his content and his music can be very vulgar. You know, he, he calls, you know, women, however you want to twist it or turn it, bitches, hoes, he says nigga, etc. Excessive in his music. So when an interviewer asks you about that and they relate that back to your daughter, you can't get mad at that because you do use those words within your music. So it's kind of like, you know, you when, when you dish it out, you can't be afraid of the backlash that comes back with that. But, you know, my my advice to the black community is that we got to stop getting mad at, you know, sambos, sambos and coons like Lil Wayne. These people are gone, they're lost, we can't help them. And the best thing we can do is just stop supporting these people. Don't don't buy the albums. Don't buy these little corny ass mixtapes. None of that. Because what's happening is that these people are becoming the face and the voice for our community. Because these interviewers, and when they talk about uh, racism or white supremacy or things that are going on within America, they select certain people to articulate themselves that don't know how to articulate themselves about certain subjects they go get somebody who was uneducated someone who doesn't have common sense someone who is afraid to speak up about a lot of things that we see going on in our society so you know it's a whole game that's rigged and they pick people like kevin gates and charles barkley and you know little wayne and stephen a smith and all these different characters out here that don't mind disrespecting the black community and tap dancing for white folks so it's just up to us to, you know, um, subtract ourselves from 
the brand and all the products that these sambos are trying to sell to us because it was us who got them in the spot that they're in right now and a lot of these guys you know and, and females that come from the black community when they get a check, when they feel like they're able to move to, you know, white suburbia or, you know, they're able to go to the white parties. And when I say white parties, I mean the attire and the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the ethnicity. But when they're able to branch out of their normal social environment, they feel like, you know, you if quote unquote has some type of above stature from their own people so they come out here and they make these stupid comments but let, let's start supporting Lil Wayne we, we, we gotta you know kick this guy in the ass financially because that's where it's gonna hurt now you know we already see what Birdman done, done with him and you know they, whatever the little relationship they got whether they little butt buddies or whatever they got going on that's just completely just ignored because anytime we feed attention or we go out here and we buy, um, you know, the, these different entertainers' products, they win. 